normally you would expect them to go to public school or somewhere else, but for some reason, uh, which uh, they recognize uh, the need for it, uh, there's, mashallah, uh, young American born and raised uh, teachers uh, who are there uh, to work with uh, the children. And I'm especially uh, talking about Islamic Foundation School in Villa Park, uh, uh, Illinois. And in other schools, the similar situation, inshallah, can arise uh, as the community grows. He wants to answer from his Yeah, but we don't want to keep only a teacher there, right? That's right. That's that's what you know. Teacher still is not yes. leadership. I, mean, I, I think, think his brother yeah. understood your question, bro. I'm basically going to reinforce what the sister just said. Uh, first of all, recognizing what you already, already heard, that as a Muslim community, I don't mean that you know we were here 400 years back. I mean the present community. Our presence has been four to five decades at the most. So we are growing. And as sister mentioned, that there are young people who are taking that leadership role in, as teachers, even as imams. The other day in New Jersey, one of the young people was leading a Juma prayer. I was there, and he happens to be a sort of a chaplain for Columbia or NYU. And I was so impressed by his khutbah, which was brief. It was on a day before Thanksgiving, and how he tied the blessings of God and how we should be thankful. So the question that you always raise, that how we need to connect from the past to the present and so that it is appealing to our young people, that young man did a wonderful job, and I let him know that, congratulated him for that. The other thing, going back to the idea that we are a growing young community, things are happening. First time we heard that Zatuna Institute, and not only that, now those nice people, Brother Hamza, they are buying this roughly $4 million worth of a building on the University of Berkeley campus, which will be an Islamic university. The reason I'm saying that is that gradually we need to go to that level where there would be some brothers and sisters, young people, who would say, this will be my life career. And they would be the Islamic scholars of the future. Uh, I, can, I, can I just add to this? Yes. One, one second. Okay. Let, let me, uh, let, let's take a few questions uh, together. Uh, Dr. Omar, uh, Dr. Amna, Brother Zubair, uh, and, and you would like to ask questions. So we'll, we'll go through these and then we can collectively answer that. Dr. Omar. Uh, one observation and maybe another question. I came here in what, 1978. I thought I'm, a, I'm an American, but I've been reminded today that I'm pseudo-American. That's an observation. And nothing, nothing against that thinking. It, it's somehow linked with the discussion of our teachers who are so-called Americans, being born here. The speakers, uh, Zaktoon Institute uh, Imam, uh, what we are emphasizing that somehow we bring our baggage of our culture with us. And that baggage of our culture which we bring with us turns out to be a failure in converting 
Native Americans 